We're going to look at the tibia and fibula bone now, the anatomical features and the importance of these bones. Now, the tibia and fibula are two long bones of the lower leg, and they're located between the knee and the ankle. Now, these bones play a really important role in supporting body weight, facilitating movement and providing stability. Now, while the tibia is the larger weight bearing bone, the fibula is thinner and primarily serves as a stabilizer for the lower leg. Now, together, they are really important to both the knee and ankle joints. Right, let's look at the tibia. So the tibia is the second largest bone in the body and the primary weight bearing bone of the lower leg. It supports most of the body's weight during standing, walking, running and other movements. Now, key anatomical features of the tibia. So at the proximal end, which is the upper part, we have medial and lateral condyles. So these flat expanded parts of the tibia articulate with the condyles of the femur, forming part of the knee joint. And they are really important in allowing knee flexion and extension. You then have the tibial plateaus. So these are the flat surface at the top of the tibia where the medial and lateral condyles are located. And the menisci sits here, cushioning the joint and distributing weight during movement. And then you have the tibia tuberosity, which is located just below the knee joint. And this bony prominence serves as an attachment site for the patella ligament, which connects the patella, the kneecap, to the tibia, and it aids in knee extension. Then you have the shaft, which is the middle part of the bone. So you have the anterior border. This is the sharp prominent ridge that runs down the front of the tibia, and it's often referred to as the shin, and it can be easily felt under the skin. Then you have the medial surface, so the inner side of the tibia, which is also palpatable beneath the skin. Then if we look at the distal lens, so the lower part of the tibia, we have the medial malleolus, and this is the bony bump on the inside of the ankle, and it's formed by the lower end of the tibia. The medial malleolus provides support for the ankle joint and is an important stabilizing structure during movement. Now, the tibia plays a really important role in weight bearing, absorbing and transmitting forces from the knee to the ankle and maintaining stability during locomotion. So let's look at the fibula. So the fibula is the thinner and longer bone located on the lateral, so the outer side of the tibia. Now, unlike the tibia, the fibula does not bear significant weight, but contributes to the stability and support of the lower leg, particularly the ankle joint. Now, key anatomical features of the fibula. So at the proximal end, so the upper part, you have the head of the fibula. This rounded upper part of the fibula articulates with the tibia at the proximal tibial fibula joint. Although this joint does not move much, it helps stabilize the uh, tibula and fibula. Then you have the shaft, which is the middle part. So the fibula shaft is long and slender, running parallel to the tibia. It provides attachment points to several muscles, including those responsible for movement in the foot and the ankle. Then you have the distal end, so the lower part. And this is where we have the lateral malleolus. So the lower end of the fibula forms the lateral malleolus, which can be felt as the bony prominence on the outer side of the ankle. This lateral malleolus is essential for stabilizing the ankle joint and prevents excessive inward, so inversion, movement of the foot. Now, while the fibula is not a major weight bearing bone, it is important in maintaining the structural integrity of the lower leg and ankle. It provides attachments for ligaments that stabilize the ankle and contribute to the balance and coordination during movements like walking or running. Now let's look at the tibial fibula joints. So the tibia and fibula are connected at two points. So you have the proximal tibial fibula joint, which is located near the knee. This joint is where the head of fibula articulates for the tibia. Although it allows minimal movement, it plays a role in maintaining the stability of the knee and the lower leg. And then we have the distal tibial fibula joint. Now this joint is located near the ankle and it connects the tibia and fibula and helps stabilize the ankle joint. It's important for transmitting forces between the two bones during movement. Now in summary, the tibia and fibula work together to support the lower leg and facilitate movement. The tibia is the main weight bearing bone, is essential for transmitting forces through the knee and ankle joints. The fibula, though not a weight bearer, is vital for stabilization 
um, of the lower leg and providing attachments for muscles and ligaments. Together, they allow for efficient movement, balance and stability, ensuring the proper function of the lower leg and foot during everyday activities and athletic performance.